What do you learn about yourself from today? And what do you hope your players take from today as well? Learn? Oh, I don't know exactly. Um, yeah. I, I don't know what to answer on this question, to be honest. And maybe when I answer another one, then I will find out what it's what I learned about it. So it's um, that I, I saw that we played a good first half, open game against a strong side. Um, moments of of both sides, um, good offensive moment, uh, good defending after a difficult situation with an early change in the game. It's not too positive, and you have to do something like this. Um, and second half, we got we concede the early goal, not not too um, lucky, and um, yeah, then they had uh, two counter attacks um, with Aguero. That's normal with their quality, and we we, we opened too early, to be honest, um, and um, didn't protect our own um, offensive actions too well, and um, that's why we changed. And um, I think with these changes, um, yeah. We we changed in, in something in the game, and um, so we were really in the game. We controlled the game. We, we, we were direct. We had a good we had a good direction in the game. We, we, we played, stayed patient, and um, but you could see it's really more than possible that we could score a goal. We we, we scored the goal. We could score the second one. Um, yeah, over time, how you saw. It's never the best time in a game because um, all the players have a few kilometers in their leg, legs, and and then you have um, the penalty shoot, and yeah. that's what everybody would say about this. You need a little bit of luck in penalty shoot, but I think of course you need to shoot a little bit better. I mean, it did. We the, the lads did brilliant, and of course they 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 know how it works usually. But today it was not um, too difficult for the goal for the goalkeeper. We but we were not too too lucky. With Simon was two or three times really close to the ball. So um, yeah, that's how it is. And at the end we have to accept that we lost. I was going to say, could you actually see the penalties from where you were? Because we noticed, you, but you've just answered that from the fact that you know. <coughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I, I could see them. Um, yeah. If you want to know about this, I usually I'm not superstitious, but in this moment I thought because Stoke I did it, oh come on, I want, don't want to be the reason in the penalty shoot, and then I saw it doesn't help, so I can stand up. I saw, um, I knew before that it would not help, <laughs> but um, I saw the penalties, yes. Yeah, when did you um, decide the um, sequence of the penalty takers, and was Daniel Sturridge ever in your mind to take a penalty? No, there was no chance, he had cramps in the last, in the last few minutes, so he could not walk. Uh, we maybe we could not shoot worse, but um, yeah, but it was was no option. Everybody who was available took a penalty. Right. You know, now Liverpool have never lost a, a final on you know, penalty shootout before today, and in this country we say that the Germans never lose penalties either. It's a very unlikely combination for Liverpool to lose this one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm sorry for this. Yeah, again, what, what, what's your overriding emotion of today? Well, for, uh, disappointment. So, what can we work with each other? It was, it was a, uh, yeah, it was a great day until the last shot in the in the penalty shoot. It was everything was perfect, perfect organized, perfect um, atmosphere, really great, great experience. But at the end, we lost in penalty shoot. Okay, we can say it's the last. Possibility to lose. It's a, I don't know if it's the best or worst, but I'm not sure. But um, we tried everything, so it's. Um, I'm. I, I think I could be. I could be proud on, on a lot of things what the, what the players did today. But um, to be honest, I, I expect that we can do things like this. So it's not too easy to be proud on things you 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 think they are normal, but they did well. In a lot of moments, we played against Man City. How it is, and you saw in the game. Everybody, I don't know what everybody in his room thought about this cup before, but um, it's um, before I came to England. Everybody told me it's not too important, whatever. Um, but now we we play this in all 
players who were involved today, all players who were not involved today, were really greedy on, the, on this camp. They all want this really, um, and um, so. And all the people in the stadium, it was, how I said, a great atmosphere. So it was really perfect until the last shot. That's how it is. So, yeah, we could have this more often with another finish. Jürgen. I'm not too sure in this moment. He looked better after the game, of course, um, in, the, in the situation. We had, we had to make a decision. In the half time, he said it was the right decision. When we took him out, he said it was the wrong decision. So that shows everything. He got a knock against his head. And, and in this moment, you should not ask the player. So um, everybody think, um, on the stand and um, thought it's better to take him out. Uh, he struggled in this moment. And uh, yeah. It's, I think it's not too healthy. We have, we have to we have to see it. And not a big problem, I think. And how I said after game, it, it, he looked better. But in, in half time, yeah, it was not perfect. So we had no other chance. You, Jürgen, um, again with the penalty shootout, um, who would have taken the fifth penalty? And, and was there any was Miller? And was there any issue stopping Henderson taking one, or was he just further down? We, 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 we asked the player, these five players, um, said yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you were two up front there, um, towards the end of the extra time, creating a lot more chances, is that something you look to play more often with two direct strikers rather than one? Yeah, when they are all fit, then it's of course an option. Can I ask you a question, gentlemen? Uh, any, uh, any positive that you can take out from this match? Yes, of course, but I, I, um, I, I don't feel in this moment too positive. So um, I am a human being, and I, I, I can tell you everything. But to be honest, I don't want. I need time to. Yeah, it's not my first big defeat, to be honest. Yeah, so, but it, I, I know myself good enough to know that it's. Uh, I need a few minutes. So, and I had until now no minute because it was only uh, only answered questions. Um, so that's how it's of course if I watch this game again if there are a lot of good things and I, how I said we had our moments we, uh, and, and Man City is a, is a really strong team so um, that's um, that's not um, normal or usual that you that you can make them these problems we did it uh, we deserved for sure minimum the draw after 120 minutes and at the end we lost, so that's how finals are. It's only one winner, um, and um, the, the, the bitter, the hardest truth is that we are the winner. So we have, we have to, we will drive or fly home, and um, tomorrow we have training, and on Wednesday we play against uh, again against Man City, and we will see if we if we can make it better. But we cannot change the result of tonight. Final question. Uh, yeah, you've got some big games to come still, especially in the Europa League, I guess. Do you have to be wary that the disappointment of today doesn't have an impact over the rest of the season? Yeah, of course. I, please, we have so many games. Do you think I now if, uh, I, I go home and close the door and stay there for the next four weeks or what? It's, it's, it's completely normal, but we are all. It's, it's easy on your side. It's okay, you know, but it's easy. We have to feel, you have to feel a defeat. You cannot say, oh, no, don't worry, oh, I don't care, it's not important. So it, it was important, so we lost. So and that feels not too good.